the human body. Our body is an amazing machine. It performs a wide range of activities with the help of different organs which work in perfect coordination. These organs when work together to perform a single type of task form an organ system. The digestive system, respiratory system, nervous system, skeletal system and muscular system are the different organ systems that work together for the proper functioning and overall well-being of our body. The skeletal system. The skeletal system forms the basic framework of the human body and is made up of bones. This framework is called the skeleton and comprises the skull, the backbone that is spine, the rib cage, the girdles and the limbs. The skull. The bony framework of the head is called the skull. It is made up of 22 bones. A major function of the skull is to protect the body's most important organ, the brain. The facial bones of the skull support our sense organs, eyes, nose, ears and tongue. The only movable bone in the skull is the lower jaw which helps us to talk, drink, eat and chew food. All other bones in the skull are fixed. Ribcage the rib cage is an important part of the skeletal system. It is made up of 12 pairs of thin, flat and curved bones called ribs. The ribs are joined in a particular way which gives it a cage-like appearance and is called the rib cage. Like the skull, the rib cage also protects the heart, lungs, parts of the stomach, spleen and the kidneys. The backbone or spine. The backbone is also known as the vertebral column or the spine. It is made up of 33 bones called vertebrae, single vertebra and is joined to the base of the skull. The vertebrae form a strong framework which protects the delicate spinal cord passing through it. The limbs The human body has two pairs of limbs, four limbs or the arms and hind limbs or legs. We carry out many actions or movements with the help of our arms and legs. The legs must be strong and sturdy since they bear the entire weight of the body. Each forelimb or arm is made up of three long bones and 27 smaller bones. Each hind limb or leg is made up of three long bones and 26 smaller bones. The thigh bone or femur is the longest bone in the body. Joints A joint is the meeting point of two or more bones. These are held together by strong elastic tissues called ligaments. There are several joints in the human body. There are two types of joints. Immovable joints, movable joints. 
immovable joints. The bones that form an immovable joint are fused in such a way that they cannot move. The bones of the skull and the face fall in this category. Movable joints There are four types of movable joints. The pivot joint The ball and socket joint The hinge joint The gliding joint The pivot joint. This type of joint is located between the skull and the first two vertebrae of the spine. This joint enables us to move our head upward or downward or sideways. The ball and socket joint. This type of joint allows movement in all directions. In this, a ball-like end of one bone fits in a corresponding spherical cavity of another bone. Our hip joints and shoulder joints are of the ball and socket kind. It is this type of joint of the shoulders that allows us to swing our arm in a round and round action just as we do an overarm bowling action in cricket. The Hinge Joint This joint works much like a hinge of a door or a window. The bones at this joint can move only in one direction. The joints of the elbows, knees and in the fingers and toes are the examples of hinge joint. The gliding joint The gliding joint allows a set of complex movements. The joints in the ankles, wrists and the joints between most of the vertebrae are gliding joints. Functions of the skeletal system the skeleton gives shape and form to our body. It protects the delicate internal organs like brain, heart, kidneys, liver and lungs. Bone Marrow Long bones have soft spongy tissue lying within their hollow interior called bone marrow. Numerous blood cells are produced in the bone marrow every day. Tendons Muscles are joined to bones by means of tough band of fibrous connected tissue called tendons. They make movements of the body possible and smooth. Muscles and their movement Muscles are attached to bones with tendons. A human body has about 650 muscles of various shapes and sizes. The muscles contract and relax, thus moving the bones at the joints. Our tongue is also a muscle and is in fact the strongest muscle of our body. Types of Muscles Voluntary Muscles Voluntary muscles help us carry out actions whenever we want to, that is at our will, like walking, eating and writing. Our arms and legs have voluntary muscles. Involuntary Muscles Muscles that are not under our control are called involuntary muscles. Involuntary muscles carry out functions like movement of food and the flow of blood in the body. The muscles of the organs like the stomach, heart 
and intestines are all involuntary. The muscles of the heart are called cardiac muscles. These muscles carry out the repetitive function of pumping blood throughout body for our entire lifetime. Wasn't it fun learning about how bones and muscles work?